Okay, it's still January 3rd, 2012. Uh, lost another day. Probably because a friend of mine, who knows, probably because he forgot that court date over a bumper on his car. Ticket for a bumper on a car. I can't believe that. Maybe he got arrested, you know. Finally went to warrant or something, you know. You know, cops should be drawn and quartered, as far as I'm concerned, over something that menial. This is what the world has come to. They worship money more than they worship anything else. More than your privacy, more than your right to just exist and live. Uh, you heard me rant and rave on part one, which I call Hell with America. Because it really should be hell. For most people that are poor, it is hell. What kind of happiness can you give yourself? Where do you draw the line when people say, you have to take responsibility for yourself? Now, those are cliche statements. And if a soldier dies with his boots on, rest assured they're polished. Uh, yeah, right? And if a soldier dies looking at his friend's face because it was all turned to goo in Afghanistan by a roadside bomb, well, then you deserve it too. I mean, you're all idiots. Oh, don't let the children see the maimed children, the blood, the guts, the gore. Don't let the children see it. But when they grow up, they'll become, you know, they'll turn in their, to their, into their teens, 18, 19, 20. And those that join an army, there'll be some future war. And then they'll see the blood, the guts, the gore, and all that. Then it's okay. But it's not okay when they were little kids to see that. But that's what the kids saw in Afghanistan and Iraq people's heads blown off, their arms and legs blown off, their little sisters, their brothers blown away, it's the surviving kids seeing bits and pieces of their siblings. Can you imagine what that would do to a child's mind? Turn them in automatically into a terrorist. They'll hate Americans forever, just like I hate Americans and I hate this country, where you're keeping me prisoner. Oh, I can leave, yeah. But I can't take anything that represents all the hard work, all the 20 years of hard work. I can't take anything with me. I have to leave it all behind. I have to leave my guitars behind, my amplifiers behind, all my hobbies behind. I have to leave my research behind. I have to leave everything behind. I leave only with these clothes and maybe that bicycle there behind me there. Yeah. Like I said in one of my other videos, some of you said, well, you must be crazy, you know, you, you need your head examined, really? And then I said, oh, I'm disabled, right? Hmm. So even if I admitted that I'm mentally challenged, is this how you treat mentally challenged people? If I was autistic and talking like this, is this that how you treat autistic people? Oh, some of you out there would probably, more radical ones would say, oh, we need to just shoot all the autistic people. We need to get rid of all the disabled people. But um, you can rest assured, I, I bet you that that idiot black president sees some of these videos and probably shakes his head that, oh, he can't do anything about it. He can't write a presidential directive. He can't... Uh, because it'll make him look bad in the eyes of the people. It'll make him lose votes in his re-election. He may not be re-elected. For all I know, he may die of a heart attack or high blood pressure, pop a blood vessel. Any number of different things can happen. And then we'd get Joe Biden as president, and then he'd run for office. But all these people are puppets for the Bilderberg Group and the Trial Hour Commission, the International Monetary Fund. There's not much left to say. I mean, I've said it all over and over again in all the hundred videos, and the only response I get is either nothing, totally ignore me, just like you ignore the fact that you print God on the name of every bill and coin, and then you take that money and... 90, 85, 90, excuse me, 70, at least 75% of it, of tax money goes to the military industrial complex and that's used to make cruise missiles, bombs, to kill the terrorists and oops, we killed a few children too. Oops, we killed a few pregnant women. Oops, remember what I said in one of my other videos, every time you kill someone, 
Remember I said how long the DNA is? Each one of us? There's six billion, more than six billion people on the planet. And if you strung all their DNA together, just one person, you'd be able to go outside the solar system 55 billion, 880 million miles long. That much chemical memory. But if you put all six billion people's DNA together, I, don't, I can't even phantom the number, the huge number of how many miles out the DNA would go for every human being on the planet. So it's a marked achievement that you have no way of knowing where you're killing, whether you're killing the next Madame Curie or Joan of Arc or Albert Einstein or Tesla or Eli Whitney and the Cotton Gin or George Washington Carver or any of the great people that have been born and come and go and, and contribute to this supposedly wonderful life in some in some places although I have not ever lived a wonderful life no mine has always been pain and suffering and uh, if it wasn't physical pain it certainly was mental pain and it still is mental anguish I find myself every morning wishing that Jehovah or God or this real powerful being was real and that the same one that was around that Moses wrote the rights about in the Old Testament that the same one that caused the ten plagues of Egypt would visit me and ask me what I wanted and I tell that God make everybody blind for a year the whole planet let them go blind for a whole year this will teach them a lesson to not be so fanatical about eyesores and instead of hurting somebody and getting somebody else to do your dirty work like a city official that you're you're supposed to come forward and say what can I do to help because I know your life is precious too just like mine is and it would be wrong of me to hurt you and and kick you down the successive ladder or knock you off the ladder and make you start all over again just because I don't like your old bus in the backyard or your old boat and I'm gonna sick the city on you over and over again because that's what you people did to me that's why I rant and rave in all the other videos because I'm pissed off my emotions go up and down like a roller coaster why why me why didn't you just leave me alone why didn't you come to my house at DeSoto and Hart? Why didn't all the city council come there and say, Caesar, we'd really like to help you. Uh, is there anything we can do? And I would have said, yeah, help me buy the house so I can buy two sh get two shipping containers, have them delivered to the property, and put all the stuff that you don't like that you see in my yard outside, and put it all, have a place to put it inside, because I'm not going to build a garage yet until I build the house. The house at DeSoto and Hart was supposed to have been a two-story house that worked off the power of the wind and off the power of the sun directly. That house could have operated for less than $300 a year. That means the hot water, the refrigerators, the wind-powered machines, all of that would have worked. And I would have been able to work on my motorhome in the backyard. It was a very small piece of property, but it was big enough for me to start over again and before that a few years before that at Wilson's Canoga feed they came and harassed me there too they took everything out of the yard everything I was going to work on my two-story motorhome bus everything I was going to build custom they they destroyed everything they took my buses my boats my cars and I fought back I held on for dear life I held on for like nine years and it hurt it hurt real bad it hurt to see my 29 fiberglass Mercedes burnt because somebody set fire to my house. It hurt to see my 1929 uh, plastic Rolls Royce uh, singed by the fire. It hurt to see my uh, my Cressetta, my six-cylinder Cressetta, which was perfect except that it needed a valve job. It hurt to see that the windows broken from the fire that somebody set. It hurt to see all my stuff burnt in the house or not all of it but some most of some of it quite a bit of it was burnt in the house it hurt to be kicked out of the house it hurt to have to be forced to get a storage container put all my stuff in the storage container and still have the court system bitch about me not getting a permit 
to put it there at my burnt house, a victim of arson. It hurt to going to the victims unit in San Fernando and me getting told that arson victims do not get help from the state of California when they have been victims of an arson attack. So of course I'm going to say, yeah, Hollywood arsonist, don't get caught. Go someplace else. Go to Sacramento next and burn some places there. Go wherever you want to. Go someplace else. Don't get caught because these people deserve it. Burn their cars because they've certainly burnt my cars. Burn their cars because they certainly impounded all my cars, my trucks, my boats, my motorhomes. They didn't give me any peace. Any place I found, I, I, at one place, after that house was burnt, I found another place. I put all my cars at the haunted house on Nordoff. I had to pay $300 a month to keep my cars there. The city came there and said, oh, they're not registered. You can't keep them parked there. And I had to move them again onto the street where I got harassed again and impounded again. They just followed me everywhere. If some, if people really sat down and heard me on CBS, ABC, and, and NBC News, and, and my recordings were not interrupted, not censored, and you heard all of the evil stuff the city of Los Angeles did to me, you'd know, you'd know beyond any doubt that's why I say there can never be common ground between me and you people because you've already done the damage you've already taken the most precious things that mattered the most to me and you inter you even interfered in my family life false accusations false police reports all those people got away with it and none of them are serving time in jail none of them are being investigated by the FBI or Homeland Security or any of those people they will be able to walk away going ha 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 look what I got away with and that little jerk got to feel my power I'm sure that's what they're saying gloating over what they did to me so yeah you think about it you think about how and why I say that when I die I'll be happy I'll die with a smile on my face because I certainly will be glad to be gone from here because you people murdered me you murdered decades of my life and most of the people that did it were people that don't know how to mind their own business how to keep their nose in their own backyard nope they stuck their nose in my business and ripped me off for everything I had. They ripped me off for my electric bikes, my every every project I started to work on. They came in and they did it over and over again. Private citizens, city officials, the LAPD, the LA Fire Department. If if I was dying on the street and the LA Fire Department came, I'd yell and scream, "Don't you dare touch me!" I'd rather die than be touched by the LA Fire Department, any branch of them because you people destroyed my life along with LAPD and all, all of you jerks I'd rather die and don't you and I'm telling this now on YouTube if I'm sick on the street and I tell you hey I'm the guy that you screwed over at DeSoto and Hart I'm the guy you screwed over at at the Wilson's Canoga feed I'm the guy you screwed over at every place I could find to try and get away from you people and you wouldn't leave me alone don't you dare touch me you let me die because I hate all of you beyond hate. If I could fill the universe with the word hate repeatedly over and over again, I'd do it. And the universe is big, like 12 billion light years wide. I'd fill it with nothing but hate. And if I could find a worse word than hate or loathing, I'd use that against the planet Earth. If the, if the Earth need, if the, if the universe needed to clean itself out with an anima, they'd stick it here in planet Earth because this is where it all is and clean out the population because none of you stick together you won't do this re revolution hey you got your chance do your revolution bring the United States of America and every state of the Union down don't buy gasoline take your money all out of the banks tell them and when they ask you to put their money back you tell them one answer you know what we want Caesar as emperor and absolute dictator and he's gonna change things because we know you won't and that's the end of it and even then, I think I'll have to be drafted because I don't want anything to do with you. I want to go someplace like Australia or New Zealand. And every time I see an American, I want to shoot the bird at him. Say, get, get the hell away from me. I don't want to be reminded of all the crap that you stole from me. Because you are a collective. And a collective, it, 
to explain the definition of a collective is people that work together they work for themselves but they work together to keep the system going the system is not worth holding up if even one person is hurt remember that 